Oh, oh that stuff tears so easy now. Like the string. Uh. That, and I found out talking to them that they actually go cheap on the threading that holds it together. It saves them like $1 per bag. It, listen, they're, when you're a multinational yes, company. Yes, yes, so you're like looking with, at yeah, the with cost. With Joke a Joke, they, and I'm not going to say that's the only brand that does this, but I know for a fact they do it. We're talking about uh, Ted Josiah, something that you know he probably did not even know coming in, and Ali, you, you were, we yeah. were all surprised. Yeah, I think I think we we were really shocked that uh, <coughs> you you know Ted Josiah. Yeah. And you've yeah. actually spoken to him. I actually talked to us about. And by the way, Omosh doesn't even know this. Yeah. To, to talk to uh, us about the yet. interaction you had with Ted well, Josiah. Ja and, and maybe talk about the, the, his, his, That's his business. All right. So Ted Josiah, um, he's, I got to know him as an African manufacturer. Okay. So, um, so as I was, I'm always looking for people who are adding value in, in, in Africa. And because I see it as something that can be replicated in Ghana, in Cote d'Ivoire, in places where I have my investments and stuff I want to see happen. And so I'm sitting here, I'm going through here, I'm just looking for through African business. I come across uh, this company called Joke a Joke and I start researching who is this guy? Who's who's putting this together? Because it's vertical integration of, of bag manufacturing. So the stuff is beautiful. What do yes. you mean by vertical integration? So what that means is that the raw materials, the uh, value added, actually turning it into bags and suitcases and wallets. And then the distribution and marketing is fully vin vertically integrated in Kenya. It's not like parts of it are coming from Asia and parts are coming from here and it's sold through stores through a Macy's outlet. It's completely vertically integrated. So all the money stays circulating in the Kenyan economy, which is uh -huh. the exact type of businesses. And it sounds like just to be looking at one example of a bag manufacturer, but it's so critical to the development of a country that the value chain stays vertical and it causes circulation. We call it velocity of money, and the stuff he's put to producing is so good. The because bags, uh, the oh, luggage, yes. the Joker oh, jokes, oh, the Joker yeah. joke. Yeah, is the so quality is good. The, the quality the is actually bags, really good. If you've ever been uh, to a car show and you you went and sat in a Bentley or a Rolls Royce, you know that that really good smell that premium, you get. Premium, that premium smell. Yes, and you go up and you hold. You, You'll sit there and you're going to hold the bag and you're going to look, people are going to think you're weird because you're going to be like in the airport holding your bag up and smelling <laughs> it because it, it's like it, it's all raw leather. It's like the best because, again, when you're building bags, so an interesting thing that I learned about that, right, it, it all comes down to the cattle, right? So the, you got to get the best leather because without the best leather, it's like built, trying to build a fast car without an engine, without a good engine, right? You doesn't matter what you do. Bad leather is bad leather. And in Kenya, they have just these this perfect strain of cows that they get it from louis vuitton doesn't have access to it chanel doesn't have access to it wow. none of these guys and i don't mean anything against anyone who is louis vuitton or chanel <laughs> all i'm saying is that your shadow bags, binding shadow your binding. bags are not as good as joker joke because you don't have the best materials that's it wow. joker joke the, and they're all handcrafted so mm -hmm. I, i've seen how they've developed it like it's it, it's intense artisan work this is not like Louis Vuitton, they're being pressed out of the machine. The machine, shh, shh. Th these are handmade. It's ultra high luxury. And the only reason these things aren't thousands of dollars is because of vertical integration. See, if they, if Joke a Joke, if, if they tried to do what they were doing, but they used traditional methods where they would just source here, 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 their bags would cost several thousand dollars. But because you have a lot of efficiency by vertically integrating, they, they're producing these products that I... I think they're the, probably the best in the world right now. Ted Josiah, wow, I hope you've heard. Ted. Ted Josiah. Wow. Here. You know this I, video? I, I think Ted now needs to come on the show <laughs> and uh, tell us more about this uh, joke. joke. Yes, yes, I think, Ted, you've earned your spot here on the show. <laughs> and, and, of course, I was telling uh, Brad, you know, like when he mentioned Ted, I told him Ted is a legend in Kenya. I knew he was a movie producer, or a, uh, a music producer. A music I, producer. Didn't, I didn't know how amazing he was. <laughs> oh, he oh he's, he's, I thought yeah. he was a think, bag manufacturer. No, who think also of, think, that, that's think, something he started doing in less than last, the, he what, started, between the last five to seven short short years. Time. Think <laughs> of, when in music, think of, by American uh, standards, think of Quincy Jones. Mm -hmm. Think of 
that's where Ted Josiah was that's incredible. You know, in the Kenyan music industry. Absolutely humble guy, too. Absolutely great. He's answered questions I've asked about at the bag. I, you know, he's just absolutely a rate guy. Uh, one of the better people I've ever met. I really like the guy. Okay, joke a joke. You see why you need to land in Kenya? You are, okay, you guys have sold me. <laughs> I mean, I'm just trying to help. In fact, in fact if anything, yeah. the, now you have a reason. To go and see Joker Joke for yourself. Yeah. Oh, that would that be a fun crossover episode? I would love to do that. Yeah, oh it's, wow! I, and I, I'm it, it, and uh, in terms mm. of from a manufacturing perspective and leather, you talked about leather with the yes. whole tanning process and all of yes. that. Yes. There's actually a ton, and when I say a ton, there's quite a number in Kenya mm-hmm. on. on of other yes. people who are doing leather, uh, they may not mm-hmm. be doing it at that high level that he is, but there's, you know, small shops where you have guys like maybe one or two people who are actually like sewing the bags and doing mm-hmm. belts and doing um, uh, shoes, you know, and they're doing, and you can go order a customized bag. Like, I mean, I've done it. I go to other people and I ordered a customized bag and they even, you know, stamp it with my name on it and everything. And it's, you know, embroidered into the thing and, I pick the materials, the buckle, and I build my bag the way I want it. It's it's you, incredible. It's a so true luxury it, experience. Correct. But I, what I end up paying for that bag, if I paid $150, I paid a lot of money for mm-hmm. that bag that I customized. But, and I'm talking about a big duffel bag, about this big. But let, let's put it this but way. So his stuff, yes. Are you losing? With, with the bag that you got, have you lost any bit of quality? over the high price stuff that you'd get from Italy or Paris? No. Do you ever feel like, oh my gosh, this leather's just not as good? Oh no. And actually you talked about leather being, um, yep. that you have to have the right leather. You have to have the, the right The first cabin. bag that they did, because they picked a piece of leather that was, because when leather is damaged, it's damaged. Yep. It's not like, it's, you, skin. it's not like you can repair it. It can't be fixed. No, you can't. And so when I got the bag, because the bag was delivered to me, I looked at the bag and I'm like, okay, this looks good, looks good. And then I look at this other piece, I'm like, oh no. Uh-huh. And it's because it was, I think whoever put the bag together didn't look at it, it had a flaw. Okay. So he shouldn't have used that piece on yep. that bag. He could have used that piece somewhere else, but not on that, on the bag and so i called the guy back and i say i took a picture and i showed it to him and he's like okay i'm gonna send somebody pick the bag up and they replaced that particular piece it's incredible took service. the bag apart yep. put it back together and gave me full leather that's you know not damaged so and you're right if it's damaged it's damaged there's nothing you can do about it yep. you know it, so yeah and i can tell you like so when you get to the I, i've gone through my bag phase getting all the fancy stuff and when you I can't tell you how many times I have to take my stuff into the Louis Vuitton repair shop because, oh, oh the stuff tears so easy now. Like the string. Uh. That, and I found out talking to them that they actually go cheap on the threading that holds it together. It saves them like $1 per bag. It, listen, they're, when you're a multinational yes, company. Yes, yes, so you're like looking with, at yeah, the with cost. With Joker Joke, they, and I'm not going to say that's the only brand that does this, but I know for a fact they do it. They're using – no one notices. You will never notice – the thread that's holding your bag together. How do you know if it's good or not? You have to rely on the manufacturer. Yes. This the stuff that they're producing in Africa. It's again part of vertical integration. That stuff that no one cares about. The thread is so far beyond what these major bag manufacturers are doing. I I, I don't hate the stuff <clears throat> that I've bought over the years because you know whatever. It's got it's a brand name. It has value. All that stuff. Yada yada yada. So do baseball cards, right? But uh, <laughs> but but as far as something that I want to use every single day, I, I want to use something like Joke a Joke, because number one, it gets way more attention. Like when you're showing someone that you have like an a, like a bespoke African brand, everybody's seen Louis Vuitton, most everybody's seen Chanel. It's not a big deal. All you do is you look like someone who has a little bit too much money and you just want to show off. But when you have <laughs> real classy stuff. Yes, that's something that causes conversations. People are saying that people. Will, I think that's what what people when they go for like brands, what they're looking for is that type of reaction. But you're not going to get that by going to brand names. You're getting it by going to ultra high quality. And so there's there's my plug for Joker Joke. Wow, Ted Josiah, you know you've heard this. He has been plugged on the show. <laughs> In fact, we need to call him for our <laughs> bill. <laughs> we need to send him an invoice. Yes, we I, send him. I, an... I, I've, I've never charged anybody. We'll send, for... we'll send him I an paid invoice. Full price for my bags, guys. I paid full price for. We will send uh, Ted an invoice, and next to it, we put a picture of uh, Brad. Yeah, but, but Ted Ted is doing an amazing job. Yeah, those bags. And, oh, they're good. And right? I think he brought his uh, his skill and perfection in music 
to the manufacturer. That's of a bags. good point. He's yes. so 